Hey fellow riders, welcome to another episode of Grab Adventures. In today's episode, I'll be taking the e-bike, the stock e-bike out for a spin before I fit all the accessories in. So let's see how it handles. And first off, as you can see, the e-bike, uh, the lift won't be able to close up. So 20 inch e-bikes, you know, normally is like that. So I have to tilt it a little bit. So let's go down. When they delivered the e-bike to me, I only did a couple of rounds in the kapak. Uh, apart from that, I didn't really take it out and uh, do a proper test run. So today will be the first time that I'll be riding this e-bike for an extended period of time. And uh, I thought I'd head down to uh, the Pangswa Park Connector. Because I know the Park Connector, right? The shared cycling path there, it's, it's really great to cycle on. I am just about to enter the park connector and yes I'm in and uh, looks like it's free and easy there seems to be nobody around however I know as it gets a bit darker there will be more and more joggers and cycli cyclists uh. this uh, particular PCN right it's, it's really really very popular especially when the sun is about to set and uh, you know uh, it's a great park connector to, to cycle on uh. All this while, I have been cycling on uh, gear 1. So uh, you can see over there, uh, it states gear 1. So the pickup is uh, very smooth. I only need to turn my leg uh, like about one quarter of the way and I can feel the motor kick in. And then the moment I stop paddling, the motor cuts off. So it seems to be very, very responsive. Uh. Okay, now let's go up to gear 2 and see whether there's any difference in the flat surface that I'm actually cycling on. And, uh, oh, actually, I don't seem to feel that much difference there. Uh, okay, I, 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 I do get a sense of a little bit, you know, speed boost, but uh, I don't really feel that the bike is uh, going that much uh, faster lah. Now let's hit gear 3 and uh, see, whoa, okay, I can feel the, yeah, I, I can feel the speed on this gear setting. Uh, I think the difference between gear 1, 2 and 3, right, gear 1 and 2, the difference is not really that much uh, on flat surfaces. However, the difference between when you jump from gear 1 to gear 3, uh, well, there's really a noticeable difference. It is going at a very faster uh, speed right now. Up ahead, there's an underground tunnel, so I'm gonna go there and uh, see how well it performs going downhill and uphill. Going downhill, I'm gonna off my motor, and uh, yeah, it just handles like a regular bicycle. Uh, however, the paddling, you know, the, the paddling, uh, there isn't uh, much difference from a normal bicycle. However, you have to, yeah, this part, uh, I can literally feel, you know, a bit resistance to paddling, but it's okay. So now let's hit the moto and uh, see how well it performs on the slope. And uh, wow, okay, I can, yeah, I can literally, wow, this this is amazing, man. Wow, is this what I have been missing all my life doing for food delivery for the past one year? We will see uh, how it performs in real world deliveries and uh, oh, what have we here? So, oh, it's those uh, otters. Uh, yeah, alamak. Okay, just uh, let them pass by first. And uh, actually, uh, every time I uh, evening time, I, I don't know, I think they kind of got used to the space here. So, I see these otters quite a lot, uh, you know, whenever I'm out cycling in the evenings with my family. Okay, they are out. So let's continue our review. And uh, so, Adama, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Bukit Panjang, right? Yeah, Bukit Panjang slopes. Bukit Panjang slopes, uh, they are really, really, you know, uh, there are some slopes which are very steep. So, you know, and uh, that would be where the workout is. And yes, this is the slope I was talking about. And uh, I can already feel gear one is not cutting it. <laughs> okay, I have to go into gear two. Uh, it's getting a bit, you know, uh, harder. You can see the bike slow down. Okay, gear two. Okay, so you can. I think I, I'm not sure whether you guys can view it on the camera. It's uh, the speed has picked up and uh, yay. Okay, 
and uh, cut off uh, back to zero okay and going downhill lah. so yeah so this kind of incline uh, gear 2 is better so I guess you know the uh, I will have to see how it performs in Bukit Panjang I have been riding this bike for 30 minutes uh, and uh, I still find that occasionally whenever I pedal uh, I try to pedal faster I think it's like muscle memory uh, because you know I'm so used to riding a manual bicycle so I, I, I automatically start to pedal faster whenever I come you know like uh, slopes uh. I have been uh, riding for about uh, 35 minutes now and uh, I, I feel some pain on my on my hands uh. I think because you know I'm not used to this kind of grips you know these uh, rubber, rubbery grips right I'm used to more of those uh, soft type of, uh, of grips uh. So uh, maybe I need to change the, the grips so that it doesn't hurt my hands. However, during food delivery, I also use uh, half finger gloves. So I believe that would uh, actually solve the problem. Uh, it's more of a personal choice. The display uh, is uh, pretty good. Uh, it gives me all the correct information uh, whenever I need it with just a glance. I can just look at it at a glance and uh, see my battery life, you know, and all these things. Uh. The horn sounds pretty great. I, I won't horn because there's a lot of people around. And the lights are pretty alright as well. Uh, very bright and uh, quite uh, clear. Lah. It has been about 3 hours since I left my house. And I think it's about time I headed home. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, let me first start off uh, by saying uh, I decided to get the e-bike about 6 months ago. So uh, after trying out, I think it was about five J Move or uh, yeah yeah, it was about five uh, different e bikes. Uh. I quickly uh, I find uh, I'm most comfortable riding bikes with uh, you know larger tires. Uh, you know those twenty inch and above. Uh. So you know uh, among the twenty inch and above tire models, uh, I actually uh, chose this uh, Colmax. Uh. First, let's talk about the battery. The battery is 12.8 AH. There are larger batteries, of course, but at the price of uh, $1,499. Oh, by the way, uh, I, it's on Shopee, lah, you know, uh, that I saw the price. Uh, this e-bike uh, had the most uh, AH at that particular price. The battery itself uh, is actually Maximal SG's uh, own brand of battery. It's not Samsung's or LG, so I was uh, actually a bit concerned about it. However, you know, the chargers and everything, right, is all certified and uh, they do come with uh, Singapore's uh, safety mark. So I was uh, reassured by that. I actually intended to get an extra battery at a later date. But when I inquired about the price, right, the seller actually informed me that if I got it together with the e-bike, there is a bundle deal. So what I ended up getting uh, was the e-bike with uh, two 12.8 AH battery with two chargers for for both the batteries. Huh? And uh, the whole package actually cost me $1,880. Whereas, right, if I were to uh, buy the e-bike first and then, you know, buy the battery separately, the bike would be at $1,499 with one uh, battery and one charger. And uh, I need to pay an additional $450 lah if I want to get the battery at a later date instead of getting it as the bundle deal. My main reason for getting the extra uh, battery pack, right, is that uh, as uh, most of you know, uh, I usually do two delivery blocks per day on weekends and public holidays. Uh, one in the morning and the other in the evening. Uh, because my thinking was that I have two batteries, uh, I can just swap the batteries whenever I come back home from the first, you know, uh, delivery slot. Uh, you know, I don't need to wait for the battery to be charged, you know. And the bike is always uh, juiced up for my next uh, delivery uh, on the same day. I also like the width of the tire. Uh, now, uh, I will be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I know that wider tires are equal to more stability. Uh, but actually, when I see uh, the difference between 1.75 and 1.95 mm uh, seems very, very small. Uh. So I don't actually know how effective it really is. Uh, but uh, psychologically, uh, it is uh, reassuring. Lah. Then there is the delivery rack. There are, you know, other e-bikes with built-in racks. Uh, but however, there is a unique add-on accessory uh, to this bike rack. 
however, as this video is about the stock e-bike, uh, so uh, before I added on all my accessories, uh, I will reveal what is the unique accessory, you know, in my next video. And then there is the design. You know, when I first saw this e-bike, uh, something about the design seemed very, very familiar. So I did some uh, googling uh, and uh, found out uh, that Colmax is actually designed by the same company, uh, Maximal SG in this case, which came out with, uh, I think, one of Singapore's uh, first LTA approved uh, PAB. Uh, it was called the Kudu, K-U-D-U. Uh. So the Colmax uh, series uh, seems to be the third generation uh, power assisted bicycle from uh, Maximal. Uh. The first generation, I think, was uh, Kudu. And then there was, I think, the second one, which was the Kudu Pro. And, of course, this is the third generation, which is the Colmax. And then they have a Colmax uh, Plus. Uh. But actually, uh, personally, uh, I like the fact that they have two versions of their e-bike. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, the iPhone and iPhone Plus. Uh, Colmax, I feel like, you know, it can work very well for part-time riders. And uh, Colmax Plus for full-time riders with a higher battery capacity. Uh. And uh, also, not to mention that I prefer the name Colmax over Kudu. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the frame design, right, it's actually very, very similar to Kudu. Uh, so, you know, I really also like that it is uh, similar to a traditional bicycle frame. Uh. Next is the rims. I think a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this. But this is what I feel like it's my own personal preference because, you know, different people have differing uh, views and, uh, and thinking. Uh. But uh, for, for me, right, I feel that uh, spoke rims are more comfortable for riding over long periods. The reason is that uh, I can actually feel more vibrations from the handlebar and seat from uh, bicycles uh, with those, you know, I, I think they call it like aluminium rings or alloy rims. Uh, I, I'm not sure, lah, but I think due to its uh, rigidity, uh, you know, the impact of cycling on normal roads with bumps, you know, uh, all of that impact and shock is uh, transferred directly to me via the seat and handlebar. With uh, spokes rims, you know, like uh, those on the Colmax, uh, I can still feel them, uh, but to a lesser degree as uh, some of it is absorbed by the flexible, you know, uh, spokes. Uh. Again, this is my personal preference. Uh, however, I have to admit there are two areas that, uh, you know, those uh, aluminium or sport alloy rims are better. Uh, they are easier to clean and they look totally badass, man. Next is the acceleration. Wow, I love the smooth pickup on this. I don't know the technical stuff, but uh, this e-bike has really smooth acceleration. No jerking, you know, from the moment I start pedaling. Uh, let's uh, talk about the gears. <laughs> Uh, actually, I was a bit let down, you know, uh, initially at first. Because, you know, there are three speeds on this bike, you know, compared to the usual five on others. Huh? Uh, but, however, I, I find that having three speeds to be just right. As, uh, you know, there is less time thinking, you know, like which gear I want to switch to. And anyway, uh, you know, when you when I, I feel that when you switch from gear to gear, it's only incremental upgrades. Huh? So, the speed and the uphill climbing, right? It doesn't really benefit that much from having five gears, I think. I think having three gears, right, is actually just nice. Sometimes uh, it is not about adding in features. Uh. You should also know what to remove to make it simpler. <laughs> so in that case, right, in this case, I believe that Colmax got it right. However, uh, there is no such thing as a perfect e-bike, man. There are some things I compromised on on this bike. I still can't get over the fact that I have a disc brake on the front and a clamp brake at the rear. I would have preferred either, you know, both front and rear have disc brakes or, you know, both have uh, clamp brakes uh, instead of, you know, this hybrid solution. I I'm sure there might be a reason for it. However, I don't know what it is. Lah. And there you have it. This is my first impression on my first ride on my brand new e-bike. I will be posting up more content uh, as I continue to use this e-bike for my food delivery adventures. If you don't want to miss them, do consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification. I will see you in another video soon. Ride safe, be safe. I wish you all good earnings.